Hello everyone, I'm Renown Zero, and today we're going to be talking about Forbes dismissing Kotaku's unbelievably BS outrage over Tracer from Overwatch 2 having a cop uniform. Because again, Kotaku is all about that activism and about all that cop people bad, or you know, cop men and women bad. It's like, get over yourselves, Kotaku. You're a dying company, you're a dying website, and no one goes to you for anything. People go to YouTube for game reviews now. They don't go to Kotaku.com for your BS activism. But good on Forbes for calling out the, this trash, woke, garbage company, Kotaku. We're going to jump right into this article from Bounty Into Comics. Forbes dismisses Kotaku's outrage over Constable Tracer skin in Overwatch 2 as more finger-wagging than case-making. These are the same type of journalists that would complain about Tracer being sexy and doing sexy things. On, on Overwatch. Sexy poses. Forbes has hit back at Kotaku's discuss over Overwatch to adding a British police uniform Constable Tracer hero skin. In late November, Kotaku's Alyssa McCant report on Blizzard Entertainment adding the Constable Tracer skin in Overwatch, to Overwatch 2. The skin invokes the stereotypical image of a British Bobby, a classic UK police uniform with a small mustache. At the time of writing, the, company, the accompanying bundle on Battle.net appears unavailable. Mercantic argues that the skin is egregious, as were the prior police uniform inspired skins when they were added. This included 2017's certainly tone deaf officer Diva skin and 2019's riot police Bridget skin. The latter is of note due to that occurring in the year of this trash person's deceased self during his arrest and ensuring this garbage movement of protests and riots. The event resulted in pro garbage content in entertainment industries, including video games. Some notable examples are Apex and Spider Man Miles Morales. Ubisoft apologizing after the villains of Tom Clancy Elite Squad utilized a raised commie fist in their, icon in their iconography. And IGN included links to several supporting charities on their front page, to name a few. Long after the inciting incident, major entertainment industry companies continue to offer some form of support or cut ties with those who didn't. And celebrities are. I'll keep offering two cents because celebrities are, are dumb brainless who don't know shit about nothing and we don't care about your trash opinions. Go the fuck away. Be a clown. Entertain me. I don't give a fuck about your political opinions. References to the police have been since also been censored on video games. Epic Games removed police cars from Fortnite because they're pussies. And Warner Bros. Interactive Entertainment changed Velma's police summoning attack in multiverses because they're pussies. The move now calls on the mystery machine to draw... Drag away imposters. As such, police themed content in video games and media in general is still a sore subject for some because they're pussies and they're and they're dumb, including Mercant, arguably treating 2017's offers of Diva skin with outrage in hindsight. Yes, in May of 2019, while America was reckoning with clear and consistent proof that this thing overwhelmingly does not affect these people because they don't know statistics and facts about nothing because they're dumb activists that don't know anything about nothing. Mercant prefaces Blizzard thought it was a good idea to give a character with a shield a riot police skin. Yes, they should have. They should be able to give them whatever fucking skin they want and sell whatever skin they want and shouldn't listen to dumbass people like you because you have room temperature IQ and you don't know shit about nothing. Like I already said. The in-game cop skin feels like Blizzard saying the quiet power very, very loud. Yeah, that they want to make money. That they shouldn't listen to dumbass activists like you. Kotaku writer explains Overwatch lore as the heroes essentially being cops who are forced to become vigilantes after their organization is disbanded following investigations into some of their ethically questionable and legally shaky tactics. While the Overwatch organization helped solve the Omnic Crisis, where your commission, the commission automated robot factory started to produce armed machines, a group of Omnics called Null Sector were later attempted and revolt in the UK due to inhumane treatment. Tracer was sent to help after begging her superiors against the express wishes of UK Prime Minister for Overwatch not getting involved. Mercant describes no sector as an omnic revolution group often referred to as these bad people. Possible, suge possible suggesting their methods were pu weren't purely violent. This is despite their methods being exactly that the King's Rule uprising started with the bad bad actions by them and their continued war against major cities across the world in Overwatch 2. <clears throat> Continuing, McCann summarizes that the Overwatch organization was a global police force with vi virtually unfettered reign. So, that's what that's why the Tracer skin is so incredibly frustrating, she emphasizes. Once again, stop listening to dumbass activists from Kotaku.com. Make your skins, make your money, that's it. People want to buy it, people want to buy it, people don't want to buy it, people don't have to buy it. 
Blizzard could choose to keep their cockpit quiet, she, but she but seems determined to shout it from the rooftops of King's Row, you know, the place where the cops were sent to violently quell an uprising. Yeah, like like the dumbass riots in, in real life. Just similar to that. And while the see constable traits are can canonically a, a lesbian, again, we don't really give a fuck. They're fictional characters. We don't care about their gender or sexuality. Doing a little gender bending, which people do in real life. Blizzard could achieve the same effect by giving her a Freddie Mercury inspired skin. No, they can make whatever skin they want. They shouldn't listen to dumbasses like you. It would go quite nicely with more Moya Bowie, Bowie look. And it wouldn't have any of the problematic implications that come with adding yet another police team cosmetic in the game. They can, again, they can add whatever cosmetic skins they want. Please shut the fuck up. You're annoying. You probably don't play this game. You probably don't pay for anything in this game. You probably don't pay for anything you have. You don't play this game. I can guarantee you don't. <sighs> Eric Kane took to play against... McCann in her editorial for Forbes Deep gets silly outrage over police and video games. That's exactly what it is. He opens noting that it's not even his first even his first even his first name, having previously written about the archive against Overwatch Police Skin 2019 Demon Complaints by Vice, ridiculous clickbait, because it's exactly what it is because Vice is woke as fuck. Returning to his latest piece, Kane briefly expresses how he felt the skin was poorly designed, pivots back to discuss how quote police are apparently no longer allowed to be in video games, period, which they should be. There can be soldiers, bad people, more bad people people and more bad people but and any of other things but not cops cops who are for the most part good people cops are in this particular culture but the worst yeah fuck this bitch because i have family that were police officers so she can go fucking fuck herself <laughs> who were a hundred percent good people Kane argues that Mercant is mostly just assuming her readers already agree with her. It's more finger-wagging than case-making. Then he then mocked Kotaku, reaching out to Blizzard and saying, well, the ideology of the skin. The ideology behind putting a cop skin in a video game about futuristic cops seems a bit on the nose as far as the questions go, but okay. I hope the folks at Blizzard got a good chuckle reading this request. He then decides Mercant's quip about Rem Ramatra... Gee, I wonder how Tracer feels seeing the leader of this bad organization she was sent to stop. But also, it's a video game about shooting at the other team in colorful multiplayer matches. Why are you spending your time willing and rendering, rendering garments and gnashing teeth over stuff? Because she's miserable, she's probably single, childless, probably a cat. future cat lady is probably what she is going to be. Kane questions why soldiers in Call of Duty, quote, illegally traveled to third world countries to stop bad people, didn't garner outrage from Rakan. The constable tracers can somehow ranks higher in the outrage on them, quote, frankly, neither of these things is outrageous. I just found the ranking a bit confusing, and she's 100% correct. He then denies her argument that Blizzard should keep the cop bit quiet as she failed to explain why because, again, she's a dumbass and has room temperature IQ. Her assumption is apparently that police are not just bad but uniquely bad to the point that police should never be included in video games for any reason unless they're included as a critique of police. Yeah, of course, these are the same type of people that were complaining about Spider-Man in the Spider-Man PS4 game helping cops. Meanwhile, Miles Morales' dad was a cop, was he not? But I guarantee you she didn't have nobody had a problem then because Miles Morales is black. By the way, Miles Morales is Miles Morales, and I don't give a fuck who cares who who hears me say that. I don't care about your feelings. It's just a fact. Kane maintains that while he does believe there are bad cops in corrupt police departments, yes, this is true, in support of reform efforts, he found this kind of argument juvenile and naive in the extreme. He criticizes how those who condemn the entire police force until they are in need of them, this is a fact. Look at Alyssa, Alyssa Milano, who was like that, and then when she needed a cop to help her, she, she was in danger or fear of her life. Who did she call? A cop. Because she's a hypocrite, like everybody else in Hollywood. It's not perfect, I get it. We don't live in utopia or nothing ever goes wrong. Violent criminals really do exist, some of whom are capable of doing terrible things. I get tired of this notion that all cops are somehow bad, and that even including something like an innis, innis, innocuous constable skin and a multiple shooter is morally questionable. Quote, there is no case being made here beyond cops are bad, blizzard is bad to include a cop skin, and that's just not an argument. The declaration is preaching to the choir, he stamps. So this is exactly what it is. He calls it out perfectly right in this statement of what this is. It's exactly what this is. Nonetheless, Kane proposes the Roadhog police skin is a good idea and calls on Blizzard to make it so. Sarcasm and not both for Khan and Kane's pieces show why Blizzard Entertainment must avoid doing that in Overwatch 2 or even overtly unflattering allusions to police in other games. Yeah, so 
Moral of the story is, stop listening to dumbass activists, especially from Kotaku, one of the worst video game websites ever. I hope they go under. They are useless. They are obsolete. They are garbage. They have activists. They don't have actual gamers that work there. They have nobody there that actually knows how to beat a video game, for fuck's sake. And they should be completely and remo- completely removed and become obscure to people who are doing it on YouTube way better than they ever will. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you all for checking out this video. I hope you guys appreciate it and like it. Comment below what you think about all this. Subscribe for more content. Hit the bell for notifications. Set it to all. That way you get uh, notifications every time I post a new video. And as always, I will see you all on the next one. Peace.